Hello everyone, this video is in our engine technology series and today you can see it. I want to have a look at the TCEC website. Um, I sent a lot of people to this website, but um, I get a, a number of comments back about, oh, but you know, where should I look? What should I look for? Um, because there is a massive amount of information, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, you do have to click around really in order to get to grips with it. So I just thought I'd give a, a little bit of a of a shortcut lesson for it. Um, let's have a look first of all at just watching the games as they're played live. Um, so um, obviously we've got the chessboard uh, here. Um, just a, a few points worth pointing out about that. I'll just scroll down a little bit here. Um, these are the moves here and you can right click and just get the, the PGN of the games. You can also just download uh, the file to, uh, to a PGN file or the FEN, you just get the, the actual position if you, if you want that. Um, what you've got here, you've got the output of um, uh, the engines playing. So this is Cheese's output, and this is Amoeba's output. Uh, this big number, of course, is uh, the evaluation from the white point of view. You see that, uh, well, both Amoeba and Cheese think that, uh, that white's doing pretty well there. Um, what you've also got um, is kibitzes as well. So these are engines that are actually looking at the position at the same time. Um, we've only got one at the moment, which is red. Um, and um, that is um, an engine called Crystal. And uh, Crystal is a, a very interesting fork of stockfish, um, which um, is um, focused on um, fortress detection. So uh, it's very good at spotting whether you know an end, end game position is a fortress or not. Slightly weaker in other aspects of, uh, of chess, but very good for that. So that's why um, um, the TCC likes to run uh, Crystal, because um, yeah, a lot of these. Uh, Ending sometimes they, um, uh, you know, they might be, uh, you might be material up, but you might have a fortress like a queen versus rook position. So uh, Crystal's very good at detecting those. Um, if you look at the statistics here, some of them are, um, are not that interesting. Some of them are interesting. Um, so this is, uh, first of all, the uh, amount of time left, the time spent on the last move, the individual score between the machines, the ELO, um, this is the um, speed at which the engine is uh, calculating. You can see that uh, Amoeba seems to be a lot faster than Cheese. Why could that be? Well, you could actually uh, understand that by hovering over the king and seeing the information. You see that Amoeba is using 104 threads, so essentially everything that the TCC hardware has to offer, and Cheese only is using 16, so that explains the, uh, the speed difference there. Um, also, uh, nodes is quite interesting. That's the uh, um, yeah the amount of moves that um, uh, um, the engine has searched for this particular move. You can see it increasing as it's Amoeba's uh, um, turn to play. Um, and um, uh, thirty-three forty-five. That's depth, selective depth. In principle, that's um, this is the number of times that um, the engine has cycled through all the possible legal moves. Um, and this is the um, this is the uh, uh, the deepest that the uh, the engine has looked into the position. So that's 45 half moves. Um, so that's all uh, quite interesting. Now, one good thing here is this PV uh, tab. If you do PV, then this displays in um, uh, with a chessboard the main line of the engine. Um, you've also got it down here on the left, but here you've got it in um, in uh, um, yeah, just with a chessboard, which makes it uh, kind of easier to follow. And um, obviously, you know, as the engine switch move and as they're calculating, the PV can change. So um, there's this uh, lovely little lock button that you can use that just fixes it at this moment, so you can have a good study of it. Um, very very useful when uh, streaming because whoops there we are you see it's all uh, it's all changed so that's very very useful now on the right hand side you've got a, a number of things you've got the chat um you've got uh, the list of past winners um you've got the standings in the tournament which is quite interesting and also the stats which are always quite fun too so um uh, decisive openings reverses double draws average moves you know all the all that sort of lovely stuff um, right at the top, if you scroll right to the top, um, then you can see um, options, and you've got loads of ways to uh, control the setup of the um, of the uh, um, website. <coughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to get into this one, then um, you know that is the uh, 
Um, you can really customize it as you want. I've just always left it default, uh, to be honest. Uh, I, um, I like, like it an awful lot as it is. But um, yeah, a lot of people have got uh, all sorts of uh, ideas about how that should be. Let's just put that back to the engine. Um, these are quite interesting graphs. I mean, these really follow the um, um, the statistics of the engine. I think as we've seen them, you know, in that panel above, but show them in graphical form. Uh, red is the red kibitzer, that's crystal, and white and black, of course, are white and black. And um, you've got all sorts of stuff. Mobility, that's uh, arm mobility. That's quite a um, um, a complicated little thing, um, uh, tie break thing that the TCC is experimenting with. So I won't go into that right now. Um, but time taken, depth, selective depth. Um, you've got the um, the speed, the number of uh, nodes, so the number of moves that they've searched per move. Uh, table base hits, um, whether they agree on the moves and for how long. Um, and kibitz, oh, well, that's just uh, uh, what the kibitz is, uh, are thinking at the same time. So lots and lots of stuff. And again, lots of, uh, of options for how to, uh, to customize this. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you can play around with it. I think when you get you know a little bit more uh, experience with it to start with, this is just uh, you know great, of course. Now, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's something that people often miss. You scroll down to the bottom again, you get a lot of uh, interesting stuff. You've got the uh, standings, the cross table for which I need my extra wide monitor to see it all because there's uh, 40 engines in there. But um, you can just click on um, on one of those and uh, you'll get automatically taken to a game. But uh, a little bit more about that later. Head-to-head um, -head results of the currently playing engines. The schedule, so you can see exactly when your games, uh, when the game's going to take place and what's happened in the past. Um, event stats, that's what we saw uh, in the panel up above. The live log is quite uh, fun. Just um, This is actually just the, the output of the engines as they are calculating. Sometimes uh, um, interesting, but in principle, all that stuff is, uh, is in the uh, interface. And then crash info, if there's any uh, crashes at all. No crashes, uh, looks like, in this tournament. Uh, and that's, again, uh, have to stop there and give credit to the uh, sysadmin, Aloril, uh, who um, yeah does so much testing on uh, on the engines to make sure that uh, all of the tournaments run smoothly. Um, so oh something exciting there. We've got uh, the old mate announcement there. So the game's not going to last very long, and you'll uh, we might just uh, witness. Yay! One of the standard things: prolonged applause whenever there's um, uh, whenever there's a win. And uh, well, if you don't like that sort of thing, you know you've got uh, audio. Um, and also the uh, boom command for um, uh, for uh, you know enabling or disabling that stuff. Now another very important thing that uh, people always want to know is how do I get hold of the games? Because uh, well, very often I'm tweeting something and uh, I'm just putting the general um, uh, website, but then by the time people come to the site, it's a completely different game. Well, very important functionality. Um, it's the archive. Um, I mean, um, as you saw from the schedule, I could actually just um, go back for, you know, through any game um, previously in the tournament, click on it. Oh my goodness, I've seen a loss of vice against Seer. And um, um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I could actually see any game like that. Um, but um, yeah, what if I want to go further back? Well, then I'm going to click on the archive. As you can see by clicking on an old game, it's automatically brought us there. And what I can do there, um, I can click on Seasons, oops, Seasons, and um, um, all of the previous events, the TC, are here. Season 21, Season 17, Season 10, Season 3. Um, and what I could actually do here, this download button, I could click and download on, uh, on all of the games for that event or all of the games for that season. And um, yeah, you know, if I just open up season 21, I've got the super final, the infra final, that was between uh, Komodo and uh, Stoflace, if I remember right, Division P, all the qualification leagues. Um, I mean, let's just click on the super final here. And there we are, the super final between Leela and Stockfish. I just click on the game. And here it is. Um, and, you know, all of the statistics are, um, are remembered there. So, uh, you know, you, you click from move to move, you see time taken, the evaluation at the time, etc. Absolutely wonderful resource. Now, you know, another thing that people often say is, um, uh, but OK, do I need to, to download, you know, all of, um, 
all of these individually. Um, and before this was the case, I mean, it takes you, you know, five minutes and then you've got 20,000 fantastic games. I mean, that's not bad. But actually, um, one of the TCC chatters, uh, the amazing Mr. Beads, um, has actually done something incredible. Um, um, and that is um, uh, this website on GitHub, uh, TCC uh, chess. Um, we've actually got um, all of the games of the TCC in one file. And um, you can have it um, either compact, um, uh, sorry, everything compact, which is um, um, uh, just basically the plain PGNs of all the games, or you can have events full, which is uh, the PGNs with all of the engine comments uh, and principal variations and that sort of thing. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I've got something about uh, importing annotated games. I always uh, prefer to have un annotated games. So I'm always going for the, uh, for the uh, everything compact. Um, yeah, and I guess that probably at the end of season 21 that uh, Mr. Beads will, um, uh, will do another update. You know, so I mean, this is a really powerful uh, thing. And I said about 25,000 games of uh, super high quality chess, you know, so um, uh, absolutely worth having uh, for, your, for your database. You know, it's uh, because um, again, you know, it's one of these things where with engine chess, there's a massive amount of information out there. And really, you know, uh, I'd say that probably 99% of your opponents don't know anything about it. So, uh, you know, finding stuff in, um, in, uh, in uh, in engine databases, I mean that's a real way to uh, to get ahead of, uh, of of almost all of your opponents. So there we are. Um, what else is there? There's also the uh, the TCC Twitch channel, which is quite fun. But um, um, but in general, you know, I mean, um, I'm always um, uh, really sticking to uh, to the TCC website simply because it's got so much to uh, to uh, to offer. Um, and if we go back to the uh, main game here, what have we got? We've got Vajolet against uh, Bagatour. So uh, the tournament currently going on at the moment is the um, is the TCC Swiss, which is uh, you know a lovely tournament where um, uh, how many engines is it? Is it forty four? I think forty four engines here. Uh, yeah, taking taking part, all playing together. Um, I mean, you know, the TCC has a lot of those elite events where, you know, the top engines play together. But um, something like this is a, is a lovely change. And, um, you know, I, I mean, the great coach uh, Dvoretsky recommended to, uh, to play through games, you know, from the old days in which the world champions played weaker players because the, um, uh, the plans of the opponents came out uh, very clearly in that way. Um, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really the same thing with uh, strong engines against weak engines. You know, weak engines, yeah, still 400, 500 points uh, stronger than me. But, you know, that difference in strength and difference in, in insight also makes for very instructive games. And um, yeah, I very much enjoy watching uh, these games uh, um, sort of unfold as, uh, as they happen live. So there we are. That's the TCC website. I hope I've sort of shown you the two main features, basically uh, getting um, the most out of the statistics when you're watching the game um, and all the, uh, the functionality of the site, which is huge. And then also this uh, archive feature, um, which enables you to, uh, you know, look back through the games and, uh, um, and uh, you know, play through them. And then also, um, yeah, this lovely little uh, download site where you can just download, um, you know, all of the TCEC games and uh, just import them into your own uh, database program and start uh, searching them for uh, for ideas. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Do visit the TCEC site and um, well, see you with the next video.